in, then he's going to come across. Yeah, he's going to go. He's hunting for that D player right now, Maddie. Rich down to 32 seconds as uh, Diesel dives a body in the snake, but he gets clipped. Good zone control. Nick Laval trying to scream bloody murder from that back center. Might have got that shot in on the attacking player from Diesel, but he's going to take the walk as here comes Mouse. Alex Goldman trying to make something happen here for Diesel with just 15 seconds left to go. This is Mouse out here, I think. Yeah, Mouse down. Yeah, yeah. yeah bottom side. Mouse's on your got to go make something happen. Yeah, Mouse on your screen here. There goes another body for Edmonton Impact. And so Mouse is going to go and commit here, which is five seconds left. Is anyone left alive? Spick is. Is he going to have enough Spica, time? Let's go. Spica, oh, oh, and Spicka so has close. the wheel. So very close. Those bricks are tough to play, too, when you get stuck over the top like that because mm -hmm. you can't flinch down as fast as you can pull left or right. Now, I'm wondering how much paint Brandon has. Look at how active Brandon is. Yeah, he's, well, he's head checking. He's, he's yep. forcing him to shoot his gun. You get those little head checks, see that flash. As long as you time it right, you're not going to get shot in those. It is a little risky. I have to believe Brandon's low on paint too, Maddie. Otherwise, he would be putting a little bit more pressure. I agree. You can't see from this angle how much how much paint Brandon. Oh, oh and then Brandon Cornell's going to get Man. the drop in on Brandon Cornell. Does it again so many times throughout the years. He already did it in the first set. Won his first engagement in a one-on-one. -on -one. This one was a battle. Behind him, and those three bodies for X Factor are stuck on that D side. So impact on an island with one body that way, and he's going to dip into the snakes. Brandon Cornell. Colt's in a tough spot here, Matt. It's going to be very hard for Colt to shut this down and not get dinked out if both tapes get on him. At the can. Here's a run yeah. from impact. Yeah, he so stays alive. Brandon Cornell with a nice little move. He wow. slices oh, up sneaky. Tim Stetzel and then stays in there, oh. dives in, and shoots another oh. body. Little three pack. No, TJ Danner gets the drop on, uh, drop on him. Definitely broke this game open though. Hopping around to uh, catch the ball of the top, and Ryan's been on one here at this event. He's had some really good looks for Houston Heat, and former here he goes. World Cup award winner. Oh, they go down the D side of the field in Brandon Cornell. Ryan Moorhead still alive though, but it's looking good for Impact. But they do not know where this last body is. Yeah, Ryan's in a horrible position because he's got two killers right in front of him. And so Ryan catches a ball from everybody as uh, Brandon Cornell shot him cross field. He traded out with JC and then Zupa put one on him too. But, and now they've gone reactive and very safe and it's cost them some points and it's made it a match. It's very entertaining. But so back in here with 38 Mighty, seconds oh, left wow. to go. 38 Look at seconds. This. Can impact. Oh, they get all the way in the backfield here on the snake side, and they do dice everybody up. And so we're going to see one of the fastest points in this tournament. Is back.